In the span of 48 hours, the Celtics go from embarrassed to downright stunning as they come to Cleveland without their best player. And they knock off the Cleveland Cavaliers in game three, 111 to 108. And now it's a 2-1 series, and they're assured of a return trip to Boston for at least a game five in this series. Unbelievable. Welcome to Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. There's some kind of a gag going on here with the Jet. Well, first of all, he's playing Scrabble. Celtics win. win. No, Ellis says Celtics. Oh, no, it's just, uh, oh, no, it's just, it's just blank. You can use uh, it for anything. Yeah. Well, Celtics <laughs> win. There it is. There you're playing Scrabble. If, if you're going to play you Scrabble, you need to learn how to spell. Yeah. Put the S and, and, the and this game was too good to be playing Scrabble in during Without anyway. Question. Hey, Ernie, let me You were you. right, Chuckster. You said not only were they, would it be more competitive, nobody said they were going to win this thing. Uh, but man, what a what an unbelievable Boston effort. Well, I think they were embarrassed. This make me feel good about playing sports, Ernie. They just competed. And you could see it in the first quarter. I didn't think they were going to win the game, but I thought they would come out and compete because we heard all the snickers and all the stuff we read the last couple days about the Celtics. They're an amazing organization. Danny Ainge and those guys, Isaiah Thomas, have done a good job. And I thought one thing would help them. They wouldn't rely on Isaiah every time up and down the court. Everybody shot the ball. Every, they were moving the ball. They were running plays. Sometimes, Ernie, when you have a great player, you have tendency to stand around. The one thing that Kenny, Vern Maxwell, and those guys did, yeah, sometimes they stood out there and shot three, but they always kept moving, body movement when Akeem was doing his, his thing. And tonight, the Celtics, man, they made me proud to be an NBA player, man. Before we hit any highlights and before we hear from you guys, we do want to hear from one of the keys to this game. You heard from a couple of guys on the floor afterwards, but you cannot overstate the importance of if Jonas Jerebko's contribution in this game to the Boston Celtic attack. You talk about everybody contributing, Charles. Jonas, congratulations on an unbelievable win. You go two for two from distance. You go four for four. You, uh, overall, you, you gather in five rebounds, and you were getting into it with, you name it, Darren Williams, whoever you needed to get yeah, into we, it with. We needed something to get going, so yeah. it felt good. Yeah, I was going to ask you. I mean, this was just one of those things. Can you take me inside the locker room to give me a, a, a flavor of the mentality going into game three when nobody said, this series would go past four. Yeah, I mean, that's been the story of our season, man. Nobody really believed in us, and, you know, we just kept fighting, and, you know, losing those two at home hurt, and, you know, we wanted to come here and, and show the, that we can play, and, uh, you know, it felt good to get that win tonight, and, uh, yeah. Jonas Charles Barkley, number one, congratulations. Thank you. Why in the hell did y'all start arguing and fighting with the Cavs? You didn't do that in games one and game two. I give you a shout-out, number one, for bringing that aggression and energy. Marcus Smart did some. Why did y'all just start tonight yapping back at those guys and competing? Yeah, I, I think we gave them a little bit too much respect in those first two games. And, uh, you know, if, you know, we're out there to compete, and uh, I didn't think we competed that hard those first two games, like you said. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to come out there and play aggressive and, uh, and play with some attitude. And, you know, obviously uh, it felt good to knock down some shots too. Well, I, I think, Jonas, this is Kenny Smith. Good job. Thank Firstly, you. Firstly, I think overall, you know, just from a spectator, fan point of view, Shit's and analyst, uh, there was a defensive difference, more than an offensive difference. I thought that you there were tough shots yeah. by Kyrie and LeBron today where I wasn't sure, and we kept saying, what is the game plan for LeBron James? And I'm still, until the last <laughs> quarter and a half, actually saw a change in game plan. And was there one? Yeah, there was a change in game plan. Uh, you know, I think we uh, played a lot better today. We uh, we tried to make him shoot some jump shots, contested, uh, not letting him get to the rim and just play physical. Uh, you know, I think we did a good job of it, and, uh, you know, we're going to try to do it next game too. Well, well let me ask this question. Yeah. Number one, congratulations. Do you hate Kelly Olenek's man bun as much as I do? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe if we win this series, we can get a bet with him and he can cut it off. So uh, hopefully we can win the series and get it done. Hey, uh, Jonas Jerebko, congratulations very much on for an unbelievable me. Boston effort tonight. 2-1 series now. You're assured of a return to Boston for at least a game five in this series. Feels good. We owe the fans that, and we're going to go get a win in Boston and then uh, hopefully get one uh, next game, too. Thanks for taking Thank the time, much. man. Nice Thank going. You. Hey, Ernie. Yes. It can be overstated, his contribution 
because to me, he's the first guy who started yapping back at the Cavaliers. And you, at some point, it just becomes pure competition. And his energy, it, it shows up. When he got into it with Darren Williams, he starts yelling at Kevin Love. Time, but you're flopping, you're flopping. Get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. you're flopping. I mean, man, that, that fires everybody up.